Now then crew and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now normally my videos go out in sequence. This one is way out of sequence and the reason for that is I need to get it straight up onto the channel because I'm asking for your help. If you're a radio engineer or an electronics engineer I seriously I need your help. I've hit a, a complete dead end with fitting the SR10 to or coupling the SR10 which is a Senna uh, receiver for the headset of the helmet this is wait for it. that's the helmet there look okay it's a smart helmet momentum that talks to the SR10 on the bike and then there's a wire a cable that goes between the SR10 and the CB radio this is the CB radio made by GME and it's a TX6160 very smart little radio and to give you an idea this is the lead now this is one that I've already made up it doesn't work and we'll get into that very shortly that's the plug that goes into the bottom of the SR10 and that's the plug that goes into the side of the radio perfect you think okay well it's not now I know what doesn't work and you'll, there's a lot more to this story that's going to hit the channel when the actual video of the installation goes out but I need to fast forward uh, because I need the information ASAP because I'm going on a bike trip in four days. This does not work. This is incorrect. So we know that doesn't work. Let's take a look at all the information I've now got to hand. I have more information now than when I made the video a couple of days ago. Make sense? Right, here we go. Now, apologies for the quality of the photo. This, gets, this got sent to me by Mike, um, who's the guy that sold me the radios. Very helpful chap, actually. And this image here, with, this is the Heros he rose, he rose, high rose, call it what you like, connector at this end, a six pin connector. And this is what Senna supply. You can buy this without the plug on the end. And there's only four wires in the cable. That's all the Senna needs to operate, the SR, sorry, the SR10. Uh, it's got, if we look down here on the key, again, apologies for the quality. We've got speaker out, uh, which is pin one, which is red. We've got, um, sorry, uh, yeah, speaker out, red, pin one. We've got uh, mic in, blue, pin two. We've got uh, push to talk, pin four, which is a brown wire. And pin six, ground, the black wire. I will try and find you a better connect, uh, picture of that to put on the video. Now, in addition to that, um, I was sent this information here. Uh, on the GME radio, the actual radio side, so the actual microphone itself, so basically this plug here, there are four wires, green, red, white and blue, and I'm told that they then match up to the wires in the SR10 cable. Uh, this uh, took me a while to work this out. This one actually says, by the looks of it, bare, which I believe is a braided wire, which we don't have, which is also classed as a white wire, but I could be wrong. Uh, we've got green, blue, and red. Now, the problem is, in the Heros connector, we don't have a green. As you can see here, we've only got red, blue, brown, and black. So, instantly, I question the validity of this information, and because of that, I can't use it. However, we also have this diagram, and I can't improve the quality of this anymore, so hopefully you understand it. It obviously is in code. From what I can understand, the numbers, so we've got a 6, a 1, a 4, and a 2. Uh, we've got what I read as ground, GND, ground here. We've got colours, uh, which is green, red, a B, which could be black, brown, or blue, no idea. We've got an, what looks like a, either a, a fancy U or an M, don't know. 
So it's a bit like the, um, the Finji code of this, to be honest with you. Now, I do have another diagram. So this is, this is the information that came from Senna. This is the information that came from an independent radio engineer, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's ambiguous, to say the least. Uh, if we go on to here, this is the information which I didn't have at the time of making the video. This is the microphone. So this is the same mic. You can see on there, look, MC011 from GME. That's the mic. And you've got the two pins. Here, look. So the, the larger the pins uh, has three segments, and it does the speaker. And we've got speaker minus here, and speaker plus here. The smaller pin does the mic, and this is the circuit. We've got the microphone here, and mic minus push to talk mic minus goes on the back of the pin here and mic positive goes on the end of the pin and we've also got some color codes here look if that's any help so mic positive blue uh, this is the wiring in the microphone cable nothing to do with the sr10 so that's the that's the wiring inside here push to talk stroke mic minus it says here braid in brackets white well it, it is a white cable there's no braiding going on uh, speaker positive green and speaker minus red but this has got nothing to do with the sr10 this is just the microphone side so that's all that information now let's take a little look inside the microphone at the circuit board dum, 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 dum. just imagine some lift music you know in the background. Right, been in here before, shouldn't take long. This is one of the microphones I had to chop the connector off so that I can make up the cable that you saw earlier on. Right, so I am going to take a, the closest up photo as I possibly can of this so you get a good idea. But this connector here is connecting to the microphone. This connector here, the lower one, is connecting to the speaker. Ooh, we've got plus and minus on the speaker. I've just noticed that now, actually. <laughs> Look. Okay, so looking at this, potentially, the plus is red and speaker minus is white. As regards these two wires on the plug here, there's no information on the microphone. Okay, right, let me take a photo, to camera Andy, let me take a photo of either side of this board and I'll put it in the video. Oh, sorry, I missed something out. Um, now, just find my email, hang on, bear with me. So, sorry, a bit more information just to summarise the whole thing. I sent an email to uh, Senna this morning. Uh, I don't expect a response, in all honesty, um, which basically covers the two diagrams. But this is, this is what I've come up with. But, and I, I'd spent about two hours studying it this morning. Um, it says here, the problem is that I have the Heroes diagram. It's, sorry, here we are. The problem I have is that in the Heroes diagram, that's the um, SR10 cable, it states speaker out and speaker in, whereas on the GME wiring diagram, it uses uh, used speaker positive and speaker negative. So you can see that here. Look, we've got we've got speaker out, and actually there isn't even a speaker in there, is there? There's a ground instead. So <laughs> yeah, made another mistake. Okay. Um, so I don't know. The bottom line is, please could you confirm for me if speaker out should be connected to speaker minus or speaker positive? Uh, assuming that speaker out is the same as speaker positive, I've come up with the following connections. Uh, in the Heroes connector on the left and the GME mic connector on the right. Uh, red, which is pin one, labeled speaker out, to red, GME mic, speaker, positive. On the Heroes connector, the black, which is pin 6, which is labelled ground, to the green wire, 
on the microphone, speaker negative. Uh, the blue wire in the rows, pin number two, microphone in, to the blue wire, microphone positive. The brown wire, pin four, which is push to talk, to the white wire, push to talk, stroke, mic, negative. Um, that's really as, as far as I can get with it. I, I, and I don't, I, I need confirmation if this is correct or if it's wrong. Um, this is quite a different uh, way of wiring it up to what I did first. So, going by what I did originally, which we know doesn't work, I wired the uh, red wire from the SR10 to the microphone green. And I now believe, but I could be wrong, that it's red to red, which is speaker positive, not speaker negative. Um, and then, so basically these two got switched around. So red went, on my original one, red went to green and black went to red. Uh, but now I've got red to red, black to green. But that's, that's an issue with the speaker side of it. With, with regards to the microphone side, and don't forget, this radio here no longer transmits. It's broken. On the transmit side so something definitely was at fault on the transmit circuit the blue to blue and the brown to white was actually as i had it uh, blue to blue brown to white so is it possible that because on the sr10 the black wire is classed as ground as opposed to i suppose you'd call it speaker in because that's the only one we're missing that by wiring that to the red, which is how I had it, has somehow caused damage to the transmit circuit. I'm really, really confused. Seriously, who would have thought that just four wires could cause so much of a problem? Anyway, um, that's all the information I have. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time trying to get my head around it this morning. The only new information that's come to light other than what I've shown you, uh, well, other than what I had this morning, is the information on the back of the speaker in the microphone. Just there, look. It's got positive and negative, and I covered, so the, just looking at it now, the speaker positive is red, and speaker negative is white, but that's the color coding on the, on the wires that go onto the circuit board. That, that may well not tally with the wires that are actually running down the cable. Okay, you have all the information that I have available. I've got four days to make the correct connector wire correctly <laughs> and make it work. Um, to date, so far, I've destroyed two radios. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Um, so I don't want to destroy any more. I've put the brakes on completely and I'm doing other stuff and I'll come back to do to make it up this cable again once I have conclusive information. Now the problem is it's Christmas time, it's the holidays. I don't have any support available whatsoever from GME CB radio people. They're on holiday until the 4th of January which is when the trip starts uh, and who's to say that the, the engineers may not be back for another week? We, I don't know. Um, I also have absolutely no support from Senna either. They're not back until, again, early January. So, be it the SR10 manufacturer or the CB radio manufacturer, I have nothing. All I have is the information to hand uh, and that I've managed to glean off Google. Um, I have searched through the internet uh, and really struggled to find any further information. You know, there's no guarantee that it's even possible to wire this radio to the SR10. Um, there are other radios that can be wired to the SR10, which Senna already produced the cables for. They don't produce a cable for any of the GME handheld CB radios. Now, there might be a reason for that. They may not be compatible. I don't know. So, please, either yourself, or if you can reach out to somebody that you know, somebody that you know who is a radio engineer that can look at this information and come back to me with uh, basically just a very simple list 
of the wires, the, the four different colors on the center side. So in, in this particular cable here, uh, that was the diagram that we first saw. So those colors uh, on the side here, a bit like, a bit like, actually like what I've done here, actually, something like that. I just need to know what color on the SR10 wires to what color on the mic. And then I'll give it a go. So this video is going to get uploaded this afternoon and hopefully within the next couple of days we'll have a, uh, have some kind of information and a result so I can carry on. But believe you me, I was extremely upset when I destroyed these radios. This one here has no audio anymore, neither the audio on the micro, the speaker inside the built-in speaker or on the jack behind here. I've plugged in a little speaker, nothing happens. Um, it does it does transmit, you can talk out, but you can't receive anything back, so it's no longer a two-way radio. Yeah. Uh, this one, just out of interest, this one will start to make a ticking noise now. Listen. So again, clearly had some internal damage and I cannot, when it's connected to the SR10, it no longer transmits. This one does. So I, I really don't know what's going on. I don't know if I can get them repaired or not. If there is someone out there that could repair these for me, please reach out and I'll send them straight to you. Um, okay, crew, it's over to you. Short video. Look forward to hearing from you. If you need to know any, any more information or photos of the circuit board or clarification or anything I can give you to help, only too happy. Just flick me an email through Andy Mechanic at live, which is L I V E dot co dot UK. So Andy Mechanic at live dot co dot UK. Uh, my email address is in the description. Over to you. Oh, I...